welcome back to the show. Brand new season three, brand new set. We hope you are absolutely loving it. Now, here in Dubai during the summer, we were not shy of the big celebs coming into town. And this is absolutely no different. One of my favorite artists from when I was a teen, Jay Sean was here for the indie concert vibes. And we got to chat with him. I always loved music. Um, I loved R&B and hip hop was my first love. So <clears throat> probably like the age of 10, 11, um, I started beatboxing, I was rapping about weird stuff like geography lessons and my teachers. Uh, and yeah, I was a kid, but I learned how to write songs. And then it became like an obsession. Um, even though while I was studying, I couldn't give up writing music. Obviously being a Punjabi, I grew up in a, in a household that not only played uh, Bhangra music and Punjabi folk music, but also, you know, we watched Bollywood movies, so there was the beautiful Bollywood um, influence, those gorgeous emotional melodies. And then I was, like I said, I was into R&B and hip hop and stuff like that. So all of those things were very natural to me. A friend of mine whom I've also worked with, who's called Abhijay Sharma, who has one of the biggest songs, uh, called Obsessed, um, which is the number one song in India. So we just did that together, super talented kid. But I mean, this, you know, I've, I've, I've been fortunate enough to sing with people like Sonny Nigam and um, so many others. You know, it's just, it, it's been a beautiful experience. You know, it's funny, right? Every time I come, there's something new in Dubai, always. So the first thing I do is I see my friends who I have here, and I say, take me to somewhere that you think I would enjoy. They know what I like. I like good food, I like a good vibe, and I like good company, and I like a good evening with a good ambience. You know, and that's, um, that's my kind of thing. But you know, we've been here every year so, so much that you know, my, my friends who I, who I travel with, we have our creature comforts. We have our places that we like to go when we come here. So, you know, it's nice. We indulge as if it's a second home. It's just a beautiful thing that on my 20 year anniversary in the music industry, I get to perform at the Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai. So, you know, talk about like, just starting from humble beginnings to, to you know, gracing this stage. It's, it's really a blessing. Yeah, great to see him back in the city. He is no stranger to this city, that's for sure. No, sir. No stranger, uh, and I'm sure he'll be back sometime soon as well. Mm -hmm. uh, good to see him here over the summer. Now, don't forget, you can watch the unedited uh, exclusive of that particular interview on our YouTube page. Plus, of course, uh, lots of behind the scenes from our studios here in Dubai. So please make sure you subscribe uh, to the page. It's youtube.com backslash at Dubai One. And don't forget to follow us on our Instagram as well and use the hashtag DXB today to get in touch and let us know what you're checking out across the city. Yeah, do not forget to do that. But for now, it is a wrap from us. Join us again tomorrow for another jam-packed episode as we discuss the power of habits. Now, something we've been promising all evening, a performance from one of Dubai's hottest bands, The Ark. Check them out.